My name is Frank Mazzella. I'm the Learning Products Manager for Vision Research. I'm here to present a series of PCC Phantom Camera Control software tutorials intended to show you many of the various features and processes incorporated in PCC. At the end of this Sydney Analysis Part 1 Timing Measurements tutorial, you will be able to perform timing measurements. Using the PCC 2D analysis tool essentially turns your phantom camera into an extremely effective test instrument. However, you don't need a camera connected to the PCC software to perform measurements on your Cine files. So, let's get started. Just as I did in the reviewing your first Cine tutorial, I'm going to open the Cine I want to perform measurements on. For this tutorial, I'm going to use the ToyGest 2 file. With the Cine opened in the playback panel, Let's talk about performing timing measurements using the PCC software. Under the Frame Info selector, the software provides us with a variety of timing functions including the time field, which indicates down to the nanosecond when the image being displayed in the play panel was captured based on the local time reference clock, the universal time code formerly called Greenwich Means Time, or SEMPTI, Society of Motion Pictures and Television Engineers, timecode. For these Cine Analysis tutorials, I'm going to leave it at the local timecode option. An image interval displayed in microseconds, indicating the image interval or frame duration of the image displayed in the play panel. Exposure, also displayed in microseconds, indicates the image exposure time for the image being displayed in the play panel. And two elapsed time from fields. The time from trigger field, displayed in microseconds, indicates the elapsed time from the trigger point to the image currently being displayed in the play panel. And the time from image number field, also displayed in microseconds, which indicates the elapsed time from the specified image number and the image currently being displayed. So let's expand on how to use the timing measurements a little more. Let's say I want to know the exact duration of a specific event. In this case, the amount of time it takes between the first jet to leave the launcher and the last one. What I need to do is advance the Cine to the image that shows the moment the first jet leaves the launcher. And enter that image number found just above the image location pointer on the Cine Editor bar into the image number field, in this case image number 980, and hit the Enter key. Now I'll advance the Cine to the image that shows us the last jet to leave the launcher. In this case image number 1005. Notice the software has calculated that duration between image number 980 and 1005 to be 41,666.52 microseconds. With timing measurements explained, I'm going to close the frame info selector. So that concludes this portion of the Cine Analysis tutorials, where you learned how to perform timing measurements.